All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. Our guest tonight is an Emmy Award winner who has been delivering news of the day to television viewers across Rhode Island and nearby Massachusetts for over 20 years. On December 30th of this year, she'll be retiring. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to Wicked Late, the one, the only, Karen Adams. Karen, thank you, thank you. you're welcome. Thank you for being here once again. Can you believe it's been five years? January of 2005 was your first and, and uh, previous first appearance. First and probably was going to be last. This until I, we couldn't find anybody and this I month. Said, I know, and I said, all right, I'll show <laughs> up again. But it's been a while. Yes. How have you been? Can we see any old reels to see how they Possibly. I've changed? <laughs> we'll have to work on that in post-production. Forget it, forget it, forget it. We we'll don't have a two-shot flip we don't look. Need to see. I'm sure my hair has changed <laughs> 50 different times since then. Mine too. I think it looks all right. What do you it think? It looks about the same as it looked the last looks time, about the doesn't same. it? Like you remember. It, you don't know. I think it's about the same. Well, enough about my hair. Enough about, about hair. your hair. Yes. On December 30th, that's it. You're done. What, what is done. going on here? Why is this happening? I don't like it. I like you on the news every night. <laughs> so does Rhode Island. We love you. You don't want to stay at the dance too long. Ah. I, <laughs> yeah. well, I could have used that advice when I was in high school. Thank you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we all could use yeah. that once in a while from time to time. Sure. Oh, we're closing the doors. Uh, my contract is up, the mm -hmm. end of the year. And I said, you know... You don't get a chance very often in this business to go on your own terms. Sure, yeah. To go out a winner. We just won the 11 o'clock ratings oh. uh, for November. Congratulations. We've seen steady increase across the board with other numbers. The 6 o'clock's been really growing strong. And walk away now when you're, you're doing really well. You're on a high note. The, the, the company, the station's in a great place right now. Right. It's a great time to You can go. walk out with your head held high. Absolutely, and my choice. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes in broadcasting, it's not your choice. Well, see, I was going to ask you. I'm glad you brought it up because I was, I was going to go after your management if uh, I was going to really go after no, them. No, no, no. Because I, I, I know people. Oh, oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> I mean, that nothing will happen, but I know people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the right people. I was laughing about because I'm still preparing my little going away speech, and right. I haven't really had it all marked out. But one of the things that I said that I went through with the management was, you know, the five steps of <laughs> shock, anger, betrayal, <laughs> you know, bartering, and finally acceptance. So we're finally, we finally reached the acceptance. Now we're, we're taping this show, uh, I don't know when the, the millions of viewers are watching, <laughs> but we're taping this show right here in early December. Will there be a uh, going away retrospective? Will there be a special? There, uh, on December 16th, the station is holding a retirement party for me. And at that time, Mike Montecavo, my co-anchor, is mm -hmm. putting together a video tape. Uh -huh. And on that tape, as I understand, I'm not allowed to see it or know anything <laughs> about it, they've gone around the state and asked a number of people to comment. Uh, and then Mike's did an interview with me, and then there's old clips of me and right. oh, all they that sort of thing put they together. They haven't come to me yet. I don't know. They haven't mm, I don't contacted. understand how you yeah. got, didn't make the list. Yeah, the the call's probably, it's, gotta, it's imminent. It's got to be yeah. forthcoming. Right, right, right. So they're putting that together, and then at the event, there'll be several people that want to say something. So it'll be nice. Well, anyway. what I found interesting about you is, because I've been doing my research, is that uh, you started out in radio, actually. I in, did. In your home state. You're from Missouri? I'm from Missouri, and I started out in radio in Joplin, Missouri. Oh, my. I didn't know they, you know, had a radio frequency in Missouri. Yes. <laughs> I had no and idea. And we have indoor plumbing. Oh, wow. Running water. <laughs> Fascinating. Absolutely. <laughs> All those things have, have occurred in Missouri. Anyway, I went to work for, uh, when I got out of college, I went to work for a country western station. Right. But I was doing news. I was the news director. Cool. And, and did producer you, and did writer and announcer. Do it at all. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like me here. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the <laughs> same as as it sounds, sort of everybody. thing. <laughs> yes. But I, did you know, I mean, you started in radio, but did you always have that affinity for, for television? Did you know you eventually wanted to transition? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I was only in radio, I, I want to say three or four months, something like that, and I went to work in television. Mm -hmm. um, I. Radio was fun. Mm -hmm. I tell you, some of those DJs were yeah. crazy. <laughs> I remember one morning I came in, and I, on the way in, I could just hear, okay. and the DJ had passed out or come in, <laughs> passed out, and I just managed was to get a box. song on, and then <laughs> right over into the, you know. There are a lot of crazy things in radio. Crazy, th crazy things in television as well, but I went to work in television, and I've been in it ever since. Well, I think that's great because you have a face for TV. Oh, See thank you. Nice <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> no, uh, so, uh, and then from, from uh, Missouri, you went to a couple of local markets before making your way to Rhode Island. I went from Missouri to Maryland mm -hmm. and Maryland to Charlotte, North Carolina wow. and Charlotte, North Carolina to Providence. And arriving in Providence, we discussed this before we went on March of 1989. March 1989. Back March. When I, when I, oh, first yeah. month to be in uh, Well, I was going to say, what were your first impressions of this ocean state upon your arrival 
cold. <laughs> kind of like today. Cold, nasty, slushy. The streets were all closed downtown. Oh. Remember when all the streets were closed downtown? You couldn't figure out how to get around? I don't know. I was born in the mid-90s. Uh, I, I know. know. I, I Probably that was a big mistake to ask you that. But, <laughs> but did whatever. it take you a long time before you sort of uh, a adopted this place as your home? I mean, it cer cer certainly shortly after you got here, you probably came to enjoy Rhode Island and came to love it. Otherwise, Absolutely. you wouldn't have been here for 20 Absolutely. plus years. I mean, my, my big picture plan was two years here. Oh. And then I was going to go on to something else, but I loved it. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. And the company would say before the old contract had expired, they'd sit down and say, let's do another contract. Right. And that cycle continued for 21 years, mm -hmm. almost 22 years. And I, I really do love this state. I, I love it. I, I love the landscape. Right. And I also love the people because they're quirky and funny, and mm -hmm. I, I love them so much. I love being here, and I consider it my home. Yeah, well, we love having you. Well, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> I'm no, we're, not, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> you must have uh, just uh, a multitude, an infinite number of uh, happy, fond memories of being here and doing the news uh, on Eyewitness News and Fox Providence. I mean, anything that sticks out for you? Any events you've gotten to cover that really stick with you after oh, all these years? Oh, of course. Uh, there, there's, with news, obviously, there's the tragedies, which you, you hate, but you're so involved in them. Political yeah. situations are wonderful. I love election night. It's my absolute favorite night of news <laughs> because you, anything can happen. You get to see criminals on TV. Well, <laughs> it, it's just it's just great because we're not bound by a script. We're right. not bound by anything. Yeah. I mean, it's we go here, we go there. I used to uh, co-anchor from the Biltmore where the Democratic headquarters right. and trying to grab people off the floor. Also, I've been back at the station and this year. Uh, Joe Fleming, our political analyst, was calling the races so fast. It yeah. was great. I, I love that. And the fun things are like the Super Bowl, right. the travel. Hey, did you go to all the Patriots Super Bowls? Or? Uh, I missed the one, I think, that was in Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah, and everybody said, eh, that's yeah. a lousy setup. <laughs> well, I didn't make that one, but I've been to pretty much all the rest of well, them. Well, that's really cool that you've fun. had these opportunities. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. You've been there, you know, taking us through these events. You know, we turn to you guys on the news. and. After a 20-year run like that, it's kind of going to be a letdown. Who's, the, who, who's coming in? I don't know. Oh, jeez. I do not know. Honestly, I do it's, not know. They are interviewing I heard it's Oprah. Job. <laughs> yes, that's why she's quitting. <laughs> right. Could that's you come right. With news? Oprah said, I want to go to Providence and co-anchor. <laughs> Who wouldn't? That's what I she wants do. to be on that Wicked Late program. We're going to do a big free giveaway every night. People will, will have huge numbers. It'll be great. Now, what's uh, what's next? What are you hoping to do in retirement? Maybe well, we, could, we could have room for you at the desk. You could be here with me every month. Wicked late. Karen and Brendan. Ratings bonanza. What a blast. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> anyway, so seriously, what, what are you looking to do? Travel, spend time with I, I will be do. I will be doing some traveling, absolutely. You know I love golf, and I have not played much in the last few years. My right. game is really stinking. So I want to work on my golf game. I'm going to travel a little bit. Uh, just bought a house in Narragansett. Oh, which, what's uh, the address? Care to give it out to No, we <laughs> won't be giving that out. Uh, but it, it's just a, it's a very sweet little house, but awesome. it needs work, you right. know, paint and polish and some work in there. So that's going to have a lot of my attention. I know it's you know corny, but I do like to garden. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I do. I, mean, I know we need to have greenery here yeah. on the set. Beautiful. <laughs> Never have to water that's or That's enough. Fruit. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Just don't even look at it. Good Lord so Almighty. I have that, and then um, as you know, I've been involved with Meeting Street yes. practically since the day I moved into Rhode Island, and I will continue on the board there, board member, and my involvement with Meeting Street will continue. I will be spending some time in North Carolina. I am not moving there. <laughs> Everybody says, oh, you're moving to North Carolina. I'm not moving to North Carolina. But I'll be spending some time there, and I've already had some references of a couple of programs there that help children Excellent. with challenges. So. Well, I like that you do charity work. Certainly, you've done your act for this month by being on this show. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, Karen, I can't thank you enough for being here and for being here the, the two times you've been on the show over the years. It's so nice of you to make time for us. And I know, all kidding aside, that I speak for all Rhode Islanders when I say thank you very much for well, all the work you've done. thank you. We've thank enjoyed you. inviting you into our homes, and we certainly will miss you. It's been a great run. Karen Adams, thank Eyewitness you. News Providence, everybody. Thank you very much. We'll be right back after this.